Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my book haul for the month of November. And I have quite a few books here in front of me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So I recently did an author binge of R.S. Gray on my channel. If you missed that, definitely go check it out. But I um, wanted to try some more books from her, and I am in a, I'm in like a sell swap Facebook group. Um, and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 R.S. Gray books for $130. And, uh, and these aren't any of the ones I read, so I'm really excited to check them out. But yes, so I don't think any of them are signed either. Oh, they are signed. What? I didn't see that earlier. Okay, so the first one is Chasing Spring. And it says, remember everyone tells lies, X-O-R-S Gray. So Chase Matthews is her former best friend and is moving in with her and her dad. Um, so that sounds interesting. Then we have The Summer Games, which is a series. Oh my goodness, these are all signed. Okay, I don't know which one comes first, but we have The Summer Games Out of Bounds. This one is personalized to Sarah, the lady I bought it from, I guess. Have Fun Stepping Out of Bounds, XORS Gray. And then we have, these are based on the Olympics, by the way. Um, the Summer Games Settling the Score, which says Enjoy, XORS Gray. Um, I cannot believe these are signed, and I cannot believe I'm just now realizing that. So exciting. Okay, Behind His Lens by RS Gray. Obviously, these are all by RS Gray. So this one is about a photographer who doesn't date models, but he dates this model. Basically their chemistry cannot be ignored. So have that one. Then we have The Allure of Julian Lafray. She's working for her best friend's older brother, I think, or for some girl's older brother. So there we go. And then you have the allure of Dean Harper. I don't really know what these are about. The back is like in an email form. So I know these are pretty popular though. I feel like I've seen these. I feel like I've seen these around a lot from her. And then we have Scoring Wilder. I believe this is a coach player relationship, but I think she's of age. I'm pretty sure like she's, I don't think this is a high school romance. I think she's older, but it's forbidden because he's her coach. Okay, then we have The Bow and the Bell. So they knew each other back in high school and now they're reconnecting. I don't really, I don't know. Okay, then we have The Fortunate Ones. Just happy reading. Um, oh yeah, so they work at a country club, there's the fortunate ones, and then there's the rest of us, the waiters, the caddies, the valets, and the cabana girls. Um, James Ashwood is a legacy member at the club, he's a tech mogul and Austin's most eligible bachelor. Oh yeah, a lot of these I think take place in Austin because R.S. Gray lives in, or no, a lot of these take place in Texas because R.S. Gray lives in Texas. I think she lives in Dallas, which is fun. He asks her to sit down at the bar with him and basically introduces her to his decadent and wild world. Okay, then we have The Fox and the Hound. Stay foxy. Dr. Adam Fox takes up residence as the town's new vet. Um, and it's not long before every housewife in Hamilton is dragging neglected tomcats for in for weekly checkups. Oh, this is fake dating. He wants her to play his girlfriend at a family function and he'll hire me as his real estate agent. The day he pins me to the wall and silences me with a kiss, the line between reality and ruse begins to blur. Every teasing touch brings me to my knees. Every kiss promises more. It looks like my hot mess of a life is about to get a little hotter. That sounds super fun. Okay, then we have anything you can do. Welcome to Hamilton. This is an enemies to lovers, I think. But they've known each other since high school. This is the one I've been seeing on Instagram a lot, like lately, like this month. I feel like a lot of people have been mentioning this one. So definitely excited to read that. And then the last one is A Place in the Sun, 
which is not one that I've ever seen from her. But this says, enjoy your place in the sun. Georgie's mother is trying to matchmake her, so she flees the country to Italy. She plans to lie low until she wakes up in a bed that belongs to the most romantic looking man she's ever seen. It only takes a few steamy nights for her to realize that sometimes running away from trouble is the best way to find it. Okay, and then also from that Facebook group, I got Cocktails, a cocky collective. Um, this is an anthology, but it has been, like, it's it was limited edition, I guess you would say. It doesn't exist anymore. I'm not sure whose autograph that is. Um, but there are, oh, they signed at the beginning of their stories. Okay, so here's Dylan Allen. Then we have Jana Aston. Whitney Barbetti is in here, but is not signed. Same with Sawyer Bennett. Same with K.F. Breen. Then we have Ruth Clampett. There's a lot of authors in here. This might take a hot second. L.H. Causeway is in here, but it's not signed. Amy Dawes. I want to read all these stories, but I'm afraid that a lot of them are like a novella that goes within the series and I need to read the rest of the series first so I don't spoil myself. Um, Mariah Dietz is in here but it's not signed. We have B.B. Easton, Jasmine Jerjamin Eve is not signed, neither is Emma Hart, and we have Stacy Hart. Jessica Hawkins. Sorry, I don't know if y'all care about this. I'll put a timestamp for when I'm done going through this with all the signatures if you don't care. Julie Johnson is not signed. Neither is Karpov Kinraid or Adriana Locke or Lex Martin. We have Ali Martinez. Somebody just parked in front of my house. Katie McGee is not signed. Neither is Corinne Michaels. And we have Liv Morris. Red Phoenix. I have never heard of that author. Red Phoenix. I'm assuming that's a pen name, right? Uh, Daisy Prescott. Jessica Prince's story is not signed. Then we have Megan Quinn. Penny Reed's story is not signed. Neither is C.D. Reese's. We have Julie A. Richman. Alethea Romig. Kennedy Ryan's story is not signed, but I feel like this might be her at the beginning. It looks like a K.R. Kylie Scott. Sierra Simone's is not signed. Tara Civics is not signed. Kate Stewart. Leah Stones is not signed. And then Carla Sorensen. Rachel Van Dykens is not signed. And I think that, oh, and neither is April Whites. Okay, I think that's the end. Whew, that was a lot, but that is super exciting. I hadn't taken the time to look through those and see all the signatures yet. So I love anthologies. I rarely read them, but um, that's, like I said, a lot because I'm scared that I'm going to like spoiler, spoil a series for myself because I'm going to read a novella that like goes in the middle. Um, but this has some really amazing authors in it. So I am excited to have that and to eventually read them. So Amazon recently had their buy three books for the price of two or like buy two get one free deal whatever so I bought six books but one of them is missing. What was the sixth book I bought? I know I bought six because it was buy three like buy two get one free. Okay anyway here's what I have with me. I can't remember what the other one was. Crazy Stupid Bromance. I've already read this. Absolutely loved it but I read it as a net galley arc so I wanted a physical copy. After I do by Taylor Jenkins Reid, I have not read this one, but I've heard really good things about it. So i um, definitely excited to read that. Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I have only read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, but definitely want to check out some more of her books. Happily Letter After by Vi Keeland and Penelope Ward. Um, I've read a few books by them and have really enjoyed them. So I am excited to 
and give this a shot. Then we have Brooklyn Hair by Sarah Bowen, um, Serena Bowen. I also just have had this on my list for a while and want to read it, so picked that one up. Okay, and then I placed a few pre-orders from Amazon, which of course I haven't read yet and probably won't, let's be honest. So we have Chasing Lucky by Jen Bennett. I still have not read anything by Jen Bennett. I was going to do an author binge of her and include this one when it came out, which is why I had, had it pre-ordered, but that didn't happen, clearly. And then we have Love and Olives by Jenna Elvins. Jenna Evans Welch. I have read the first two books in this series and absolutely adored them. This was one of my most anticipated books of the year. Um, however, it will probably be pretty summery. I know the other two were. And this was supposed to come out this summer, but it was pushed back because of COVID, which is totally understandable. That's fine. But I feel like I might save this for like a spring break read or something like that. Um, even though I was like dying to get my hands on it, I just, I'm not in the mood for it right now because it's wintry and Christmassy and maybe I'll read it like in January or February when it's still cold and it's drab and I need a summer pick me up. We'll see. Um, then I also pre-ordered Duke I'd Like to F. This is another anthology, but this is a historical romance anthology, all of them featuring Dukes. Um, and this includes Sierra Simone, Joanna Shoup, Eva Lee. Nicola Davison and Adriana Herrera. I have not read any of these authors yet, but really want to. So um, this will be a nice like taste into their writing style. So I am super excited to have this and read that. Okay, and then some other random books I got from like Half Price Books and stuff. We have Chasing Christmas Eve by Jill Shalvis. Hot Winter Nights by Jill Shalvis. Listen to Me by Kristen Proby. I think this is, it's either the first or the fourth book in the series and I, it, I was missing it. I think it's maybe the first, I don't know. Okay, and then On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves. This is about a teacher and 16 year old student who gets stranded on a deserted island. And then once he comes of age, it is their romance, which we'll see how I feel about that. Then we have Misconduct by Penelope Douglas. This is another teacher romance, I believe. A parent teacher romance. Um, and I have yet to read anything by Penelope Douglas, so excited for that. And then Moment of Truth by Casey West. I was a huge fan of Casey West years ago, back when I was big into the young adult stuff, and um, Anyway, this is a book of hers that I did not have yet, so I grabbed it and definitely want to give it a shot. Okay, two more guys, we're almost done. I found The Ray Guest at Half Price Books, and I know Crystal raves about this book, so um, yeah, I picked it up and definitely want to give it a shot. And then also Headliners by Lucy Parker. I don't know much about it, but I've seen this series on Instagram a lot, so I grabbed it when I saw it. Okay. This feels like I've been filming forever. But that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you've read any of these books, what you think about them. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.